Today I'm uh, doing a clutch. I think it's a 2004 Toyota Tacoma. I believe he bought ASIN parts off of the internet. Uh, new flywheel, new clutch pack. So these are these are kind of a pain in the butt. Let's get this shit rolling, man. Let's do this. I'm using the transmission jack and I'm kind of going up and then down with it to slowly move it out while I'm using pry bars. All right, I think I pretty much have it out. The 
transmission's off. Now you just gotta take off the, the actual shifter. glazed. So this is your chance to inspect the rear main seal. Um, this one looks like brand new, so we're not gonna replace it. But this is your chance to look at it, see if there's any leaks, replace it. Most people would say to replace it, but this guy's vehicle's in such good condition that um, it's not necessary. We just gotta get out the uh, pilot bearing real quick, um, and we're gonna use the so-called bread technique, or but I'm gonna use grease, but it's basically the same idea. You take a bolt, you fill the, the orifice with grease, you take a bolt and hammer it in, and the, the grease will, with hydraulic pressure, will push it out. So we filled it with grease, and now I'm gonna stick this bolt in it and hammer on it, and basically the hydraulic pressure is gonna push the bearing back out.
And so it's best to leave the spring on the throw out bearing and rotate it into position. So as you can see on this one, this fatter piece goes inward towards the clutch plate and this and this this piece goes back towards the uh, the flywheel. So this actually says you can see where this is facing out TM side, so this is transmission side. So I had to rotate this 180 degrees so that the pins would fit. So uh, it was, uh, I had it upside down. All right, gonna put in the uh, uh, pressure plate bolts. Oh yeah, if you're still here, like and subscribe to the content. Uh, leave us a comment. If you got any questions about installing a clutch, we'll respond to you, give you as much help as we can. Yeah, it's a, it's a little bit of a job if you wanna do it right. Um, you don't wanna just slap it in there. You wanna take your time, especially because you know you don't wanna have to do this again for a while. So yeah, all right, enjoy the rest of the video. So after you've aligned it, cleaned it, and aligned it, you, uh, you're you going to put in the, the six uh, 12 millimeter bolts. You're going to tighten it down in a certain pattern uh, incrementally until you get down to 14 foot pounds. And I'll put a picture of that pattern on, in the video. Before you tighten it down, you want to get them hand tight and you want to actually uh, center the alignment tool and the and the uh, the clutch disc. You want to center it as much as possible. So I'm going to grab my caliper and I'm going to measure in between the fingers and this and this alignment tool to make sure that we are dead nuts. That way, when you slide the transmission in, you're not fighting the the clutch disc. I went around and just had to slightly move it up and to the left a little bit. Each of the fingers is about 0.27 apart, so we're we're pretty much centered. I'm gonna start at like 70 foot pounds. All right, that was 100 foot pounds. Now we're gonna move up to like 120. I mean, sorry, 100 inch pounds. There's 120. Now we'll do that same pattern. 
two, four, and so yeah, basically the pattern is one, two, three, you go back to one for four, and then five, and then you go six, seven, and then eight. And you gotta keep doing that all the way around until you get to the... Uh... Yeah, this is your last chance to check everything, you know, before you, you bolt it all up. You wanna check your throw out bearing and all that stuff. I use this bolt and there's a coinciding bolt on the other side to suck the transmission all the way in. So we're flush with the, uh, the bell housing is flush with the, with the motor mounts. We're lifting up this back half of the transmission and we're going to take out the transmission jack. All right, so I put those two in first to line the transmission up. Now I'm gonna get the uh, the two, there's two 17 millimeter bolts on top of the transmission. I'm gonna put those in, loosely bolt them in, and then I'm gonna take those two and, and loosen them up. Then I'm gonna drop in the uh, transmission cross member. So you wanna have the two bolts on the top of the transmission bolted in, but you don't want any of the other ones. So you can still kind of lift the back end of the transmission with the, uh, with the transfer case. So I'm just by hand putting in the two 17 millimeters right now, and then I'll tighten them up just a little bit, keep it from moving. They're a real pain in the neck because they're all the way in the top and there's very little space. I was able to get to both of them with uh, an extension, a wobble extension, but I have to physically get it, get to it from the passenger side and then go on, on the other one on the driver's side. You have to get to it from the passenger side and then go to the driver's side. Cross members in. 